Hello, this is a video on flashing the Amico Alien ranges. Today we will be looking at the Amico Alien Triple Plus in particular. However, this method of flashing the firmware will work on all other Alien ranges, including the Amico Alien Mini. Please make sure you have the correct firmware for the receiver you are flashing, as they are all different. The first thing we are going to do is download the Enigma 2 firmware. In this instance, we will be downloading the VIX4 firmware, so we will need to go to www.vix4.com. We will then need to click Amico Alien 2 and select the latest Enigma 2 firmware which has been posted. Make sure you have a USB stick plugged into your computer and this will take approximately one minute for the firmware to download. Once this is completed, we will need to drag this onto our USB stick. We will then need to right click on the zip file and click extract here to our USB stick. This will take approximately one minute. We are now going to load the mini plug-in pack to the receiver. So we will need to go to the Larvatronics Download Centre. And click Amico, Amico Alien 2, Spark Plugin Pack and download sparkpluginpack.zip. This will then take a few seconds to download and once you have done this you will need to drag it onto your USB stick. Again, we will need to right click, click extract here on our USB stick. We have now downloaded all the files we need, so let's go to the receiver. Now we are in front of the receiver, you will now need to insert the USB stick into the USB ports which can either be found on the back or the front of the receiver. The receiver will then ask you, do you want to upgrade plugin? Select yes in order to load the mini plugin pack. This will take approximately 10 seconds and once this is finished, the receiver will then reboot. We are now going to load the Enigma 2 firmware. So again, it will ask you, do you want to upgrade plugin? Say no, as you have already done this. Now we will need to get our remote control and press menu, go down to plugin and down to plugin underscore Enigma 2 upgrade. Once this option is highlighted, press the OK button on the remote. Here, we will need to again press the OK button and select your Enigma 2 file by pressing OK on the remote. Once you have done this, press the red button on your remote in order to burn the firmware onto the receiver. This will take approximately 15 seconds and once this is completed it will show Enigma 2 success as shown on the video. That's all the firmware loaded on, so all we need to do now is boot into Enigma 2. So, power off the receiver using the back on off switch and then holding the centre button on the front of the receiver. Then. Power on the receiver using the on switch whilst keeping the centre button held in until you see the word FORC. Then press the down key, also known as channel minus, on the front of the receiver and it should then display the word ENIG. Then press the OK button and the receiver should then boot into Enigma 2 after a few seconds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.